This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, March 11th. I'm James Spann. Still cloudy, still wet. But we do see drier air at some point in the future, late this weekend at least. Let's go in there and take a look at things. The water vapor satellite view. Trough axis west of the state. Moist air in place. A little cold front, though, uh, bisecting Alabama today. And there's the radar at uh, 105. And at that point, the heavier showers were east of the front. Uh, the front is kind of marked by that fine line from Cullman down to Tuscaloosa. Uh, some patches of light rain elsewhere. Uh, temperatures are mostly in the 60s. Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, 66. Tuscaloosa, 67. Tomorrow will be warmer, but Friday will be cooler, as you'll see. And around the nation, the big thaw continues. The really cold air up into Canada, and uh, the snow melt continues around the nation today. Uh, on the watch warning map, we have flash flood watches for parts of South Mississippi, Southeast Louisiana. Also in parts of West Virginia, but elsewhere, things are relatively quiet. No severe weather expected for the rest of today and tonight. Tomorrow, there is a marginal risk over parts of Louisiana and southwest Mississippi, but uh, nothing expected here in terms of severe weather. Rain for the next five days. Rain amounts between one and two inches on top of everything, everything else we've already seen. And this is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. All right, model fans, the GFS, the... 12Z run valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock local time. Again, troughing west of the state. Down below that, a surface low begins to form uh, on the Sabine River Pass uh, between Texas and Louisiana. And it's going to be very moist with rain likely, maybe some thunder. High tomorrow should be in the low 70s. Precipitable water. Yeah, those numbers are coming on up there. Uh, uh, one and a half to two inches, so rain might be heavy in spots tomorrow and tomorrow night. This is Friday. We've still got broad, uh, uh, low pressure west of the state. But again, the one thing to note on Friday is that surge of cooler air moving in from the east. The wedge, cold air damming. Our friends on the Georgia border will probably sit in the 50s all day. Uh, Birmingham may be reaching the low 60s. And then West Alabama with mid 60s. But again, the cooler air should prevent any severe weather problems on Friday. Just good old fashioned rain. All right, weekend warriors. Here we go on Saturday. You know, I don't think it's going to rain a lot. Clearly, there could be a few lingering showers, uh, especially Saturday morning, but uh, uh, the weather begins to improve. It just maybe we might see a peak of the sun Saturday afternoon. High should be in the low 70s, and then Sunday we are in dry air. Uh, the sky partly to mostly sunny, highs upper 60s. Monday of next week, a beautiful day. Low to mid-70s, and the same thing on Tuesday. Here's Wednesday of next week. Got a dry northwest flow aloft, and again, the sky should be mostly sunny with a high in the low 70s. The bottom line is, next week looks a whole lot better than this week. This is the end of the forecast period. Saturday, March 21st, troughing north of the state. And a pretty good shot of cold air nosing down into the northern U.S. and a cold front uh, possibly kicking off some showers on this day, if this happens to be correct. And we all know this is in the land of voodoo, and this will probably change. Temperatures off the ensembles. Again, no sign of any freezing temperatures here through March 26th, with highs mostly in the 60s and 70s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.